going to Granny's. I couldn't believe that she was just gone. Well, you understand, don't you, that Jesus will come and take his own in the rapture. And You told me all that. Well, after the rapture, a world leader will emerge as a hero. He will be most convincing yet deceiving, but people will love him. Will he be the beast? For the first three and a half years, he will appear to be a savior, a hero, miraculously solving world problems. But in the middle of the seven years tribulation, the ego becomes apparent in him. Well, what about the mark? Open my Bible, honey, to Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Okay, 13, 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Does that mean people will have to wear the mark? Oh my, yes. People can't buy food or clothes or anything. Gasoline. Well, that sounds like Dad's credit card. Well, uh, to a lot of people, it will seem like a new type of credit card, and people will welcome it. Well, what about the people who don't want to take the mark? Uh, the only people who won't want the mark are those who become believers, and a lot of those will be killed by the beast or the Antichrist. You mean that a person can become a Christian after the rapture? The 144,000 sealed missionaries from Israel will be responsible for leading multitudes to receive Christ as their Messiah. Well, what happens to the people who take the mark? Uh, look up uh, Revelation, I believe it's chapter 14, verse 10 or 11. Okay. The same shall drink. That's not it. Okay, 11 says, And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. So the time to receive Jesus Christ is now, not then. Granny, whatever happened to God is love that you and Grandpa always taught us? God is love, honey, but he is also holy, and he hates sin, and he cannot allow sin in his presence or in his kingdom. But we all sin. That's right, and we deserve judgment. But God loves us so much, he sent his son Jesus to die for our sin as full payment and offers life eternal for anyone who believes Christ and wants him as their savior. Well, I don't know. Maybe someday all this revelation, tribulation stuff will make sense. I couldn't afford to keep up the mortgage payments, so I decided to move to Granny's. Wenda and Sandy didn't want to stay alone, so they decided to stay with me until Wenda's husband Johnny came home from the service. It was awful. When it happened, Jim was taken, and so was Wenda's 18-month-old daughter, Deanna. The mail hadn't been delivered since that dreadful day, and so not hearing from Johnny made Wenda's hell worse than mine. About a week after the rapture, we had all but given up. 